Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today we're talking about how to make thousands of dollars just by taking photos. Now you heard me, how to make thousands of dollars just by taking photos. Now taking photos looks easy and it looks like something that should be, you know, inexpensive. But if you know your way around the system, you can actually make loads of money, buckets of money. You can actually print money, mint money just by taking photos. You know, so you're making a lot of money, even more money than people on YouTube or Quora. Now, without further ado, how can we make money just by taking photos? It's very easy. Now, photos that are uploaded on the internet just like that, you can make money from them. You know, you, you really can because by doing that, you essentially, you're giving out your copyright. Maybe you, you put, um, you take an interesting photo or you take like a photo that has a lot of um, historical uh, meaning or you like you take a, a photo that is like, you know, it's a very, very powerful photo. You know, so, so just imagine, for instance, maybe you were at 9-11 and you took a photo and you just uploaded it into, um, that, that time they didn't have Facebook or, you know, any of these things, but they had MySpace, you uploaded it on MySpace. You know, yes, um, you know, papers, uh, TV stations and all of that, they can take your photo and then they'll just like say, okay, they'll give you credit. So that's not the way to go about making money from photos. There's a better way. There's a better way. Now, um... There's like a syndicate worldwide. There's just like a syndicate of, um, uh, let's say, um, monetized photos. So you've got Getty Images, which is the biggest. Getty Images, which is the big, biggest. That's a G for Governor, E for Echo, T for Tango, T for Tango, Y for Yankee. Getty Images. And then you also have Shutterstock. Shutterstock. You know, Shutterstock, that's a S for Sam, H for Harry. U for umbrella, T for tango, T for tango, E for echo, R for Romeo, and then stock, like how you stock your fridge, so shorter stock, you know. So, and then you also have um, some other ones that are not that big. You have like photo shelter, you know, shelter like your home, your home is a shelter, so you've got photo shelter. So these three are basically, they are a syndicate. And they pay out a lot of money. So maybe you're reading something on Time Magazine or on CNN or on uh, AFP, that's our uh, John's Fran uh, uh, France Press, or on Associated Press, AP, or Routers. The photos that they use are not taken by their photographers. They're taken by, um, they've outsourced all of these things to uh, these three giants. And here's how they make money. They don't have photographers on their payroll. They depend on you, the public. So here's how they do it, you know, you take photos. So just imagine maybe um, you are in a country like Tanzania and Diamond Platinum is having like a concert. Now this is um, a million uh, seller uh, artist. So you go there, you take a real, uh, I mean a very good picture. Then you can sell it to these three uh, giants in the syndicate. Or maybe, you know, you are in India and then they're having like, you know, like um, a festival on the uh, Ganges and then you take a poignant photo of when the guru, you know, is blessing the water, you can sell it to them. Or perhaps maybe like, you know, you just drive in and then you see like, okay, there's a disaster somewhere. Now, we don't pray for disasters, you know, we, but when you, I mean, when you say disaster and there's nothing you can do to help, your first instinct will be to help. But maybe, you know, like maybe a plane has crashed and there's nothing you can do. You know, while everybody is like, oh, 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 just take a photo. Take a photo because it's, going, it's newsworthy. It's very newsworthy. Now, how do you profit? How do you make money from your photos? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Getty because uh, if you understand um, Getty images, uh, it's, uh, the, all three, uh, the, the rest of them, for the shelter and the shelter stock, they work the same way. So for Getty images, how do you make photos? How do you make money from, uh, from your photos? First and foremost, you download Getty Images, um, their app. They, they have a, what they call a contributor app. A contributor app. So it's not like an app that's uh, available for everybody. It's an app for just their contributors. So it's available on all app stores, you know, play um, uh, App Store, uh, Google Store, Android, whatever. It's available because they want as many people to get it. So you download the app. Now it's going to flash up on the screen. You're going to download the app. So when you download the app, the next thing that you do, the next thing that you do is that you um, upload three to six sample photos 
just to show the kind of work that you, that you can do. Three to six sample photos. Now, don't be greedy. Just say, ah, Reno Mercury says we can earn money from taking photos and you just go out and start taking photos of rubbish. They are not going to select you. So you really have to use your head. You know, you know if, if, it's, if it's going to take you a month to get those photos, let it be a month. Maybe you need to travel. Maybe you, you, you know, like, just look for like, like a newsworthy events in your locality newsworthy events in your locality you know and then you capture it you know and then after you've uploaded those three to six uh, um, images then getty is going to review them that's the third step they're going to review them and then they'll contact you because when you upload the app you're going to put your email address so they'll, they're going to contact you if you pass the test so it's not everybody that they contact for getting images. So um, so you they contact you. They, I mean, if your photos are good, they are going to contact you. But if you just run out there and that stick photos, blah da 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 da, they're not going to contact you, and it's going to be your fault. And so they will send you, an uh, what I call it an end user agreement. You know, like um, so they're going to send you an ag agreement. You know, and then um, they want exclusivity. So your photos will only appear on Getty. So if you sign that agreement and then you go and upload your photo on your Facebook page, first and foremost, you, you're in breach of contract. Any monies that they've paid you, they can sue you and get that money back, right? So you're going to sign an agreement. No, but no one else can use those photos. Those photos will be exclusively for Getty images. Now, how much do they pay? It's going to flash up on the screen. You know, when you see this, you're not going to believe it. It's directly from Getty Images website. Because, you know, before we, I do these videos, my staff and I will research. We research because I want to address the, per, the pervasive, the endemic, the systemic poverty that I saw all over Africa and all over Asia, in India, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Thailand. And the only way I could do it, it was not by tr throwing money. It's by helping people find ways that they can make money just by, with their phones or their laptop and internet data so i have staff i pay them and then we've done research and then we didn't even know how much getty paid you know until we did the research it's a lot of money now look at it you know for one photo you could get paid as much as 499 dollars that's basically 500 dollars 500 dollars just for one photo and so you have people who sell uh, to getty images like hundreds of photos in a month literally they're people you know i i mean if you recall i did a protest in uh, in london against um, general buhari when he came here to um uh for to see some doctors you know to uh, to use the english medical system when doctors in his own home country of nigeria were on strike i did a protest now um you know like uh, you had the paparazzi they came they took photos of me now I later found out because one of them became my friend that they sold those photos to get the images and they made a lot of money so you can do that too you know you go to protest you see look at just look at the screen look at how much the uh, getty pays 499 if it's uh, for one photo 499 and then you know they have um, all the amounts that they pay you can see it on the screen so that's it now here's the thing if you apply for Getty images and then your photos are not selected. Getty also has a lesser service. They call it iStock Photos. iStock Photos, that's I for India, S for Stam, T for Tango, O for Oscar, C for Charlie, K for Kilo, iStock, then Photos. So they send you there. Now, um, the money that they pay there is not as much as what you get paid on Getty images. So you get paid significantly less, but you still get paid nonetheless. So it's better than nothing. Well, you know what they say, half bread is better than none. So you can, you, they can send you to iStock Photos, but you know, you prefer to be on Getty Images. Now, if you don't get selected for Getty and for iStock, there's always shorter stock and there's always a photo shelter. You can go there. You know, it, basically, it's the same thing. You download your contributor app, you send them, upload your images, and then they review them and then they contact you. Now, having said that, haven't said that you still have to remember that you have an exclusive uh, contract with these guys so do not uh, take photos and then you um, uh, release them on um, on Facebook or uh, Instagram and, and then don't steal other people's photos and then come they have an app that goes through photos 
and they are able to find out that oh this photo has been used before this photo belongs to somebody and then they're going to blacklist you and you don't want that you know you want to make money so try to be honest try to be honest i know that there's a great temptation to be dishonest when you are poor uh, but try to be honest about these things now my name is Rano Mokri I do not have a WhatsApp fora I do not have a Gmail account you've got massive loads of scammers who seen that my videos tend to get viral and then they come here poaching on people luring people and saying helpline I will guide you I will help you don't be stupid don't be foolish leave all those people alone everything I do I do for free I don't have a PA called Emmanuel or any other kind of person there no you know so just avoid those people you know, don't get scammed. A lot of people have gotten scammed and they become suicidal and they run to me and say, oh, but look, I don't have any business with those guys. We block them, but they use some kind of um, um, robotic software to just put their comments. So you block them here, they go and create another account. So we're warning you, please don't give it to those guys. And then also, if you have questions arising from this video, Put them in the comments section. Put them in the comment section, you know, and then we we'll respond to you. My staff and I were very good at responding to comments. Or if you don't want to put them on the comment section on my YouTube uh, channel or for this video, you can go on my social media profiles. They are all verified. They are all verified. So you got the blue chick, they are all, the blue tick. They are all verified. You can ask your questions there, you know, or you can send me an email if it's a private question. Now. Please limit your questions to issues arising from this video. Don't send me a question like, oh, I like um, uh, your jacket. I like, you know, uh, the shirt you're wearing. And, you know, I'm not going to res respond to that. My, and my staff, they have instructions not to respond to that. My name is Rana Mokri. Thank you for watching. God bless you.